It is ZVX with Stoic episode 28, game 3. He is Stoic Regret. And I am Julia Child. No, you're supposed to introduce me. And... Oh, yeah, okay. And he's Stoic Nouveau. And this is my giant fucking beer. <laughs> it's it's pretty big, David. You, you don't even want to know. Follow us on Twitter, by the way. I even changed my overlay to update my new Twitter. Because I wanted to get rid of my other one. Because I followed too many people at StarCraft. And it was driving me fucking nuts. Do you, do you use Twitter? Uh, not really. No. I can't stand people that constantly tweet. So I was following all these things like like Team Dignitas. And it's just stupid shit, right? Like stuff I don't even care about. And then just their tweets are absolutely just irrelevant. You can follow me, guys, but don't do it if you want updates about this fucking show. Follow me because you want to see funny shit that my friends do. <laughs> hey, the shit I just took kind of looks like our team logo. Yeah. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> 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 oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is uh, Kill Your Heroes by AWOL, AWOL Nation, by the way. Oh, well, that end. Fading out. Should have put sail on. We'll do sail next. We did that sail. before. We did that in like episode two, David. Well, no one's going to remember that. Thanks for reminding everybody. And now they're going to be like, you did that song before. Okay, well, uh, let's get in game. And uh, why don't we. Uh, all right, so this is ZVZ, and yes, ZVZ has gone into Muta versus Muta mostly, but it is possible to go in Festers against Mutas. It's just... Uh, how do I describe this? It's like having sex for more than 15 minutes. It can work, but it has to be really difficult and hard. Wait, what? Okay, that doesn't make sense. Let's start. Okay, I'm playing. We should do the countdown anyways, ready? <laughs> you do the countdown anyway. We don't even have Three, to anymore. Two. Ha! Oh, we're probably even. No more, no more syncing up. What's your timer at? What's your timer at? 49, 50. It's 50, the same 50, as yours. Genius. How is this even possible? Anyways, I yes, could it's kiss two Dustin games Brad. that we're doing in VODs 3 and 4 are against friends, so the quality is not going to be that high, unfortunately, but deal this with is, it. This is Trogdor. Guarantee yeah. you he's going Muta. Ah. So I'm going to do a, a weird opening here. It's because I'm just testing weird stuff. So I will be opening Roach into Muta, which usually doesn't work because the Muta player will have more Mutas. But, you know, even though people say they don't like this matchup, it's still extremely skill-based. Probably one of the most skill-based ones uh, as of now. So, it takes yeah. a lot of micro still, yeah. I guess. Trogdor's still pretty good. He's still high master. I don't think he's grand ma quite grand master, but he's he's high master. Yep, so I think top, I'm going to be opening 15 three. hatch, and it looks like he's doing a safer opening. Same builds as Wing of Li Li Wings of Liberty, yada yada. Get that hatch down. So you're still 15 hatching. I, you know what? what I've been doing every game? What? I'll tell you my build order. Okay. 10 pool. 10 gas. Yeah. 10 overlord. Yeah. 6 links. Yeah. Baneling Nest. <laughs> yeah. Seventh and eighth ling. Yeah. And then up to ten. Yeah. And then, and then win. Build and then win. And then win. <laughs> and then win. <laughs> I swear to God. I got pl I got five and zero oh in my placement matches and still got put in platinum. That build can't lose. I don't care if they go fucking I don't know. What what's the what's the hardest of hard counters to that? Well you're lucky you've been playing silver players and they managed to place you in platinum. You should be grateful. Yeah, exactly. I don't care if they one base, no gas, two queen build, and then just keep pumping out queens. I'll still beat them because it's just. I don't too care if they have a widow mine. I'm I'm doing that in every ZVZ <laughs> until I get up to until I get into masters again. I haven't played in months. All right, so super simple build. I am going to be putting down my roach worn at about thirty ish supply just to change things up. Why not? Don't ever do this. Don't ever build roaches first in ZVZ. Oh my god, it sucks. Don't just don't do it. And don't ask me why I do it and if you should do it. No. Don't do it. It sucks. I got to say this more than once cuz everybody always asks me. I do a stupid build against an average player and it wins and they're like, "Oh my god, why well, this works?" And then they do it for 10 games and realize that it's absolute why shit. Why am I losing? They come to me. Yeah. <laughs> cuz I said don't do it. Cuz you should go mutas, right? <laughs> Yeah. How okay. come? How come you didn't want to go mutas? You were just bored. Yeah. Uh, no, I did go mutas. It's just bored, so I wanted to do it with roaches first. <laughs> it's horrible. Oh, okay. I don't ever do that. So yeah, put your bailing nest down now, and it's a perfect build. 
Man, your view is really annoying to watch. I'm not even on my... Okay, let's go on my view. You wow. are on your view, because I'm on, I'm on it too. Oh, what are you on? Well, I was just moving around, but yeah, okay, I'll stay on my view. Whatever. Oh, yeah, you don't have to. I can't... It sucks that I can't, like, Look just have Look at the APM! Your... Oh, my God! 452? Oh, my God! Uh, no, I see you so at... Good that they I see your average at 120, set, 126, lower than drug dose. M. Oh, that's so fucking spam. Your, your <laughs> APM is like the exact same as his, but Jesus I played like Christ. 11 games in Hug and Swarm, and apparently they keep your average, and my average is like 580. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> People are going to call me hackers when I start laddering. Yeah, you're you're using a blink hack or a roach burrow hack. Yeah. Fucking cheater. <laughs> the hack that spams buttons for no reason. Oh, yeah, what do you think of tier 1 burrow in ZVZ? Ugh, useless. Yeah, I have I yet to see too. it ever used. You don't it's even need a spore. Thing. You don't even need an Evo chamber to, to, to build a spore crawler anymore, so. Yeah. The only thing that's cool is the Overlord thingy, Majig, but we talk about it in the other VODs, so deal with it. Watch the VODs. Yeah. It's and yeah, here's it's me giving. going roaches and then into mutas. Oh, this is like the worst build you could possibly do. Don't ever do this if you wanna if you're trying to win. It's the worst thing ever. Just don't do it, because he's going to go mutas as well, and he's going to have more mutas than you, and you're going to be like, why did I build these roaches? Alright, here we go. Attacking with the roaches. And he's going to literally defend it with, like, no units. This is how shit this opening is. <laughs> <clears throat> so what do we talk about during this downtime? Covered, so we've covered fucking, all the... My fucking brother was out there. I had to mute it and shut, shut my goddamn door. <laughs> you shut your face. I, should, I think I have six, uh, six on one gas. Huh, that'd be funny if that happens the whole game. That would explain a lot. <laughs> so at least talk about why this is going to work a little bit. Uh, it's nothing to talk about until the mutas come out. You just got to make the right decision on where to place your units. Um... Obviously, I do see that he is gearing up to do mutas. This is pretty obvious at this point, especially in the metagame of, of now. So this is a good time for me to take my third. Hopefully, it will line up so that I will be able to build spore crawlers by the time the mutas come out. Take my third, please. There we go. Okay, it's a little late. Mm -hmm. But relax. I actually haven't played StarCraft for, I think, what is it, like three months? Uh, probably around. It's in that ballpark. Yeah. You've I've been also playing got, League of Legends. Just, you've also got six drones on gas for whatever reason. Right. Yeah, I do. Did I fix that? No, not yet. Oh, man. I think that's the whole game then. Sick. <laughs> <laughs> you can't tell when it's... Yeah, it, it looks... You can't really tell. It's hilarious. Unless you look at the giant number, which you probably don't even have up. Yeah. No, I turned it all off. Why? In the box my workers. It's annoying to look at. No, it's not. It's so fucking useful. It took me like 10 games to get rid of the stupid shit that tells you that you've gained experience points. Oh, my God. That's annoying. Every single time something hatches, I have to see that shit. Was that okay, queen? so I get a nice scout off. I know the mutas are coming, so... That queen couldn't have been worth it for him. He lost so many links trying to kill that queen. Yeah, it's gonna. I think it's going to force him to lose the third, which is... So, yeah, decision-making is pretty huge in ZVZ right now. So I know that uh, my third base is probably going to be okay. So I'm going to set up my spores here, and I'm setting them up. I, I delayed it for a few seconds just because I know that he's going to have to defend against this. Uh, even if he doesn't defend the third base, if his mutas fly straight to my base, I can attack him with my ground units. And I guess so, that's the benefit of having So you're eventually going to catch him on mutas because you're going to have a third mining, or can you keep it? Yeah, because I started off two spores right away. Or at least I should have. They, they should be started now. <laughs> they really should be started now. <laughs> there we go. Let's yeah. see, yeah, and he doesn't have a third. He's got a shit ton of mutas, though. Yeah. Mutas! But if I can get one spore up, then even if I'm at a three, I think four muta def deficit, you can still win. Maybe even five, if you micro correctly. Not too sure. Yeah, well, I don't know what he's doing, but you were, he allowed you to retain your roaches, which is kind of dumb. Oh, no, he didn't. Never mind. Oh, here he comes. Oh, yeah, he did. He let you keep your roaches. He could have killed those, I think. Yeah, at this point, it's useless. They've served their purpose. I just wanted an advantage, and now I have an econ advantage, so... 
basically, I just have to deal with him having more meters than me because I open stupidly with roaches. So, and once that's settled, uh, I should be able to win the game. <laughs> yeah. So right now, obviously, the decision is to play defensively because I need to retain this third base until I can saturate it. So you just it. stick your roaches up there with the two spores, let the mutas dance around, leave the links in the front. It's all great. Yeah. So there. he's trying to split my mutas up to go here, but luckily I already have two spores. So you even just have to take gas. That's the critical, right? Yeah, basically. Do you want to try? Do you want to be counterattacking at all here, or just keep everything at home? Well, like I said, right now the focus is to uh, retain the third base until I can actually saturate it. So now I feel a little bit safe. So I'm going to go put my gases down. I know I can keep the base. And yeah. And he shouldn't be letting you transfer drones here, but that's just a mistake on his part. Yeah. So see what I did here. I was going to go to his third base with my ground army, but I decided to go on the upper side because I saw his mutas going to the lower side. So just use your common sense. If a player with Muta uh, Ling is going to go into your main base with Mutas, he's probably going to look to attack, so you can see how I intercepted it. And small things like this, they don't look like a big deal, but they win you games in ZVZ. Uh, so, and look at that, got the third. Ha <laughs> ha! And your, your third base here, it's not even that important to have your minerals saturated. You really are just looking for the gas. So yeah, I just want to Muta lead, basically, at this point, because I already have to catch up. I mean, if the game went the way it did and I didn't open roaches, this would have been an even easier win, but as is. So I am going to bypass the third base building down there because I know where his mutas are, and this is going to win me the game flat out. But as you can see, just decision-making. Uh, the first decision was to intercept his units, even though my units were going to go down to the other third, but I saw his mutas going to my main, so naturally i got to go to my third just in case I have to defend. And that opened up opportunities to kill his third base, and uh, now I'm in a pretty good shape. So now he, he's base, he has to attack me. If he doesn't attack me, then five minutes later, I'm going to have double the unit count, and I'm just going to flat out win. So, so I do kind of know that. So Your Mewtwo account just caught up now. Yeah, but he still has to attack me, right? So yeah, and if he does into these spores, he's an idiot. Yeah, it really should be game over at this point. He has no choice. He really has to attack. As you can see, I'm about to take the Mewtwo lead, because I'm just going to have too much gas. So. gas, yeah. That's yeah, nice. he's just going to go for it, and it's basically game over once I did that little run by and killed a bunch of drones. By the way, guys, whenever you're in a muta, muta battle, it's always better to have lings under their mutas because then you get the bounce under your own mutas. Yeah, that is true. And that's it. Okay. Good game, good game, David. Good game. Okay, the last one is going to be the worst game of all, but we didn't show any ZVT builds that weren't life-owning face, so I decided to do that. See okay. you in the next VOD. Well, we'll see you next